Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and Monday night, it's a dark and stormy night here in Texas, like literally it's storming outside, and uh, I thought I'd shoot a video today because I've been thinking a lot about uh, the hobby, talking with friends, and kind of processing my thoughts on what's going on in the hobby, and this isn't new, I mean the stuff that's been going on in the hobby it's been going on for well over a year, but I've had this kind of thought about it in terms of how do I feel about it? And what's interesting about it is it's a combination of things. It's a, it's a mixed emotions type of attitude that I have towards the hobby right now. And on one hand, you have a lot of people saying, man, isn't it great that the hobby is just getting so much notoriety and popularity and everybody's wanting to buy cards and the values of everything is going up. Isn't that great? Because I already have a lot of great stuff in my collection. Well, I, I guess that's great. On one hand, I feel uh, like, okay, great. I'm glad that the stuff I own is more valuable, but it's only more valuable and you only realize that value when you sell it. <clears throat> and unless I have, you know, doubles or whatever of different things, I'm not selling anything. So the fact that values are up, I could, I literally could, I don't care. I could care less. That's not even really a thing. I could care less because that means you do care. But anyway, I don't care that values are up. In fact, as a collector, as an accumulator of more things, I find it quite frustrating as I've voiced my, that opinion before because everything's just more expensive. I still have tons of stuff that I want to get for my collection. <clears throat> now, when I, you know, 25 years from now, when I'm an old man, I'm, cl I'm close to an old man now, but later when I'm really an old man, man, I hope Values are through the roof. <clears throat> but it's kind of like owning your house, right? If you're not planning on moving, who cares if your house value goes up? In fact, you shouldn't like it because that just means you have to pay more in property taxes. So you really want the value of your house to stay low until the point you sell it or plan to sell it. Then you want the value to be high. And that's kind of how I feel about my card collection. I have quite a bit of you know angst looking on eBay and trying to find things because I just keep, you know, running into high prices and I'm like, nope, 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 nope. I did buy one card. In fact, I've only bought one card in the last 10 days on eBay, which is, you guys have seen my mail day videos. I'll buy five or six cards a day. Most days pre pandemic, pre hobby frenzy and find really good deals all the time. Those are just non-existent now. And so I did buy this in 1985. This is so amazing. <laughs> 1985 Topps Cal Ripken Jr. in a PSA 8. And I paid $14.37 all in shipping, tax, etc. for this card. This is a quarter box card right here. And it's slab. Now, granted, I bought it for less than it costs to slab a card now. So that's good. Way less, actually. Uh, but the idea of paying all these monies and crazy stuff for these cards is just so unappealing to me. It's unbelievable. And other people, well, it's just so good for the hobby and... It might be good for the hobby. It's not good for the hobbyist. It's not good for the collector. And so, I, I again, I have these mixed emotions. I, am I glad stuff's worth more? Yes. Am I glad the hobby is, you know, the old, as Eric would say, it's cool to collect cards again. Okay, fine. But I would collect anyway. And maybe that's the point. Whether prices were sky high or in the toilet, I don't care. I would buy them anyway. And as an accumulator, a buyer in the toilet suits me just fine because I don't buy the cards for the value. I'm not money driven, although I am money conscious. 
And those might sound like conflicting things, but they're not. It means I don't want to just, again, completely have no value at all. But to me, if I bought a card for $10 and it was $10 when I sold it, I'd consider that a win because I got to enjoy the card for however long I owned it and got my money back. Great. To me, that's a victory in the collecting world. And so to try to buy a $10 card for $40 doesn't sound so appealing. And that's what I'm having to do. That's what a lot of us collectors are faced with, that decision and choice on a daily basis as we're perusing eBay, going to shows, going to whatever. And I'm still super excited like about the National, which is, by the way, you know, right around the corner, relatively speaking, four months away, a little over four months away. And, you know, it's about the people, right? It's about the friends. It's about hanging out. And that's all absolutely true. And I'm looking forward to that immensely. And yet I'm going to buy cards. Like, I want to go buy some cards for my collection. And I'm, I'm just, I have this dreadful image in my brain, this movie that keeps playing over and over again that I go to the National and I come home with nothing or very few things. I mean, I've gotten all of my biggest cards, well, not all of them, but a lot of my bigger cards at the National. I enjoy going to the National and buying a big card, a big boy card, a comic card even. Um... And I plan on taking a lot of money to the National, but that doesn't mean I want to spend it frivolously. I want to be conscious of that. <clears throat> and we have seen a little bit of a stabilizing, a leveling off, so to speak, of prices. I've seen a lot of the higher end stuff really kind of come down. I had a Willie Mays rookie, for example, in a PSA 2. And that card had sold a few weeks ago at almost $10,000, 9800 something like that, which I think is crazy. I paid 1600 for mine a couple of years ago at the National. And the last one sold for 6600 So that's a pretty significant drop from, you know, almost ten grand to 6600 That's pretty significant. Maybe that'll happen kind of across the board and maybe some of the frenzy is wearing off. Maybe some of the heat is coming off of this market, which again, for a guy like me, great great. I can't wait to be able to buy stuff super cheap again or relatively cheap again. Um, so I don't know. I just thought I'd share that hopefully, or maybe some of you will resonate with some of these feelings. will understand where I'm coming from. It's not meant to poo poo the hobby. I love the hobby. That's, that's not what it's about. It's just, you know, how much do you just chase and chase? And I'm not, into just into that and so it's become <clears throat> very frustrating I haven't done nearly as many videos um, just kind of like man this is just nuts and it, again it's been this way for a long time but at first it was kind of like wow this is kind of refreshing this is different now it's getting old just to be honest just to be frank it is just old well I'm really Mike I'm not Frank but uh, I, it's old I'm over it I'm ready for normal again. And maybe that's true of life. I'm kind of ready for normal again. And hopefully that's coming soon. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Keep collecting.